Good morning, another beautiful day in God's kingdom. You know, it's amazing how many things operate in the world today on the basis of words that have been spoken, words that we have heard, information that has come to us. Like the scripture that we have before us today, and we're looking at Matthew chapter 8, and let's read what it says from verse 5. When Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him asking for help. Lord, he said, my servant lies at home paralyzed, suffering terribly. And Jesus said to the centurion, shall I come and heal him? And the centurion replied and said, Lord, I do not deserve, deserve to have you come under my roof. Just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority with soldiers under me. I tell this one go and he goes and that one come and he comes. I say to my servant to do this and he does it. You know, and let, let's just stop there for a moment. You see, the centurion was saying to Jesus, I understand how this thing works. That simply by speaking words, things can happen. The Bible tells us in the book of Genesis chapter one, you know, all the way down, we see Jesus, um, God created the heavens and the earth on the basis and by the power of his word or by the word of his power. He spoke words and things came to life. Things happened. You have Ezekiel, um, in the book of Ezekiel 37, where God was saying to Ezekiel, the prophet speak these words and these dry bones are going to come alive and as the prophet spoke those dry bones you know came up um, became a mighty army you know and so all of those things were happening on the basis of words that were spoken and the centurion was saying to jesus look i understand how these things work because i myself am a soldier and when i say to a soldier when i say to a um, to a soldier under me, when I speak to them and I say, do this, they're going to do it. There is no question about it. You know, they are just simply going to do what I've asked them to do. So in the same way, he understood that once Jesus spoke the word, you know, that word to healing, he said, just say the word and my servant will be healed. You don't even need to be there. All you need to do is speak those words into the atmosphere. And those words are going to travel and go and do the things that they're supposed to do. You know, and as we, we, we take a look at that, I mean, it's, something that Jesus then goes ahead and says, wow, is he was amazed. He said, I have never found, I've not found anyone in Israel with such great faith, you know? And so he was saying that, look, that what the centurion has said is not only right, it shows that he has grasped this, the, the, this principle perfectly. And so it's a word for us today. Why don't you speak the word, you know, speak the word of Jesus. The words are written in the Bible for us. You speak that word over your business, speak that word over your home, speak that word over your community, speak that word over your country speak that word into your future that begin to speak the word of god into all of those things that connect you know that are connected to you and all of those things that concern you and let the word of god go forth and do what it's supposed to to do and of course you know at the end of the the day and at the end of the story this man this servant that was sick was healed immediately jesus spoke the word what words are you going to speak today god bless you have a beautiful day